SQL fiddle. It lets you run SQL. It lets you create objects. So a lot of the other examples, they're giving you an object to do a thing. They're giving you the objects you need to do a task. Same with the games, honestly. They're supplying you with objects in order to play the game. Mm -hmm. With SQL Fiddle, you can do a create statement in there. You can create a couple tables. You can insert into them. And then you can select from them. SQL Fiddle, a lot of times I've seen like people just show a concept like, okay, let me show you real quick. Clickety, clickety, clickety. And then you share that with somebody. Um, but you could also just practice and I've done that before because maybe I need, I'm working on something and I need to see it in a different syntax. Okay. So if you're trying to learn a specific one or want to dabble, then in this one tool, you can switch around. No one picked what version of what I'm sorry, not version, what variants of SQL you should use. Uh, I think it has SQL light as a couple versions of SQL light in there too. So you can, you can even pick versions of. The different ones. I can't remember how many SQL Server versions it has. I feel like that has the most. That doesn't give you assignments to practice, but it gives you the most flexibility as far as how much you can do, and what languages you can do. If it's important for to you, we had this debate. I think the last stream. If it's important to you to um, not hyper focus on one, but spend some time on the other variants mm-hmm. to make sure you have you know a, a greater than zero percent familiarity with them, then this will let you do that without jumping around. So for SQL Fiddle, do you go there? Let's say if I, I signed into SQL Fiddle, um, do you you go there with, uh, are, are there any instructions? Like if I go there and I want to play with Postgres, for example, does it tell me how to create a table with Postgres SQL? Like how does that work? I'm curious about this one because of what you just said. You can do, you know, several different things um, you can try several different relational database engines to test the waters, so to speak. And that would be a great way to to do that without having to set up a PostgreSQL instance, for example. 100%. So I have two answers for you. One, I'm going to be around the bush and just go back and say, you would be learning other in, in other things before you're practicing this. So in theory, you'd learn in other places. But um, to be completely honest, to more direct to what you're asking, when you go there, there's the top bar says what variant you're using. And you go to that drop down mm-hmm. and you can go MySQL, Oracle, Postgres, if you can't tell I'm reading it. It's two Postgres, two SQLites, Microsoft SQL Server 2017. Um, and then there's also view sample fiddle. I clicked that just now to make sure I was answering your question um, as accurately as possible. And it says create table if not exist. And it creates a table, primary key. It, sets, nice. it, 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 it inserts some values in there. And then the right side of the screen, so the left side is where you build and the right side is where you query. On the right side of the screen, there's your box. You can insert your queries. And it has example query because that's what View Simple Fiddle does. And then there's a button to run it. You can even make it full screen. So you have just a big editor. Um, Mm -hmm. In this case, it even has a little note saying, we borrowed this from Stack Overflow, and there's a link. So I'm going to make the go away now so I can see your face. Hey, hi. Um, But yeah, so there's a button you can click to get an example. If you're you're like me with so many things, like you you just almost need a starting point. Um, Especially if you've already learned some, and you're, again, this is the section where we're practicing. Um, mm-hmm. you push that button, it'll give you an example, and you're like, Oh, okay, but that's not the table I want to make. I want to make this table, and you can just edit it. Interesting, all right, it's it's great, and then you can share it with people. So, and I think this is what I was talking about. This is the example of why I don't like CTEs or why I love CTEs. Um, <laughs> anti semi join, yeah. here you go. All right, cool. I like it, I liked it too. 